so we're back on the bike again um, a little bit more riding time to feel the bike feels like how it handles I've stiffened the suspension up a little bit at the front it's adjustable and I'm riding the XF 900 side usher so the big thick tyres does help this along very very nicely I've adjusted a few things on it after yesterday's ride to make it a little bit more better for me let's see if it does make it a little bit better for me Jan's be with me. Jan's on the ride out as well. Come out, it's a little bit windy, a bit chilly. And now, the sun's trying to poke its head through the clouds. So this is a, a nice ride. The thing is, riding with Jan, I'm forever looking to make sure she's alright. This has got used to the bike. Because it is a big heavy bike. And she's just getting used to it. They are easy to ride, don't get me wrong. But, it doesn't stop you worrying about her. Cheers mate. Thank you. You're a nice man. Well, a young lad dressed as a nice man. <laughs> Flat cap and everything. So here we are at the end of this road. Just got to cross over and uh, So where the other side takes us. The thing is, uh, having one of these electric bikes, if you ride somewhere, you get lost. It's not much energy to get back. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we're just uh, finding new routes. And uh, we're testing the All Trails app, which gives us, I think it's 55, 56 routes where we are here. 36 at the van. So, quite a few. So it's a bit of a nice scenic ride country ride, off-road, not too much off-road, I don't think it's a full, well I know it's not, it's not a full mountain bike, it's just basically gravel and things like that, it's not for you downhilling and things like that, you'd be daft if you thought it was for that, but the uh, Cyrusha XF900 does quite well on roads like this, there's a lot of uh, things you've got to set up for yourself on the bike and it's not difficult. So Cyrus has done really, really well with this and I'm more than happy with it. Up to now I'm more than happy. And it's just like I said, one thing they said they're going to be sorting it out for me. So hopefully they will do. Right mate. not muddy, even though we've had a, a little bit of rain down here, not too muddy. 
So let's have a look what's uh, around this corner. Is it a dead end, that? Uh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> <laughs> it's a dead end, yeah. Situations like that, it's a dead end. To come back up a hill just makes it no effort whatsoever. So I was just using that bit of throttle on this just to get us up that hill. It's made it a lot easier. Even Jan's just said the same on her bike. It just helps a little that little bit more. We don't know this trail, we've never done it. And we're just uh, exploring to be honest. These tyres don't have an angle of the road. The terrain, I should say. So, yeah, looking good. A little bit of mud here. It's ideal for this sort of trail. Fat tyre bikes, absolutely brilliant. I don't feel like I've put any effort into this, but I'm still feel like I'm exercising as well, and not too much. So, it's when you get to places like this, you think, which way do we go? Which way do we go now? With this bike, another thing as well, you do feel like you're sat up, your eye up and you're looking uh, straight ahead so you're not leaning forward over the bars you sat up in a nice position so like Jan's just said now coming down here it's a little bit overgrown and uh, it's a bit neckler, but the bike's coping quite well. It's coping quite well with it. Got more necklaces on me now than I've ever had when I was a kid. But it's getting us out in it. Would you have done this on a, a normal mountain bike without electric? Probably not. I might have done when I was younger, or a few years ago, but not. I've uh, still getting used to it, to be honest, having that power assist to help you. It's brilliant. Absolutely brilliant. Sai Russia, you've done a good job done a really really good job it's helping me to explore a little bit more as well and it's getting the drop out I just wish the path was a little bit wider for Jan to do this, to be honest, I'm quite impressed with her. She's uh, coping really well with it. You alright? Oh I am, I just keep checking on her, making sure she's alright, because I'm in front. I don't like being in front when she's like to know that she's all right but she wants me in front to lead the way the thing is i don't even know where i'm going <laughs> so 
looks like we've come through the end of all that nettles to bits let's see where we are right so if we go down there now then Put your sleeves down a bit, can it? Now, look at the stuff we're going through. Look at it. Not many people have been down here in a while. They've been neckled to hell. Okay. Oh, dear hell. There's exploring and there's exploring but this is taking the biscuit Ow! Ah! Shit! Ah. And that's not over exaggerated Oh, whoa, 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 whoa Right Now we've got to carry them over this Look at blackberries on bushes Look at them right, Now I've got to Bloody big heavy bike. And the gentleman that I am, I'm going to get jams over. Oh, that That's one thing I will say. If you get things like that, that felt like a bike ride itself, just lifting that. Yeah. Over. But, it's done. <laughs> so it looks like we're on a bit of a, a better path. Yeah, Jan, look and left. So yeah, this is it. That was a track and a half, wasn't it? Oh, this is a little bit, look at that. That's what we like to see. Yeah. Nice open pathway. Nice steady little ride along. I mean, the side musher and Jan's bike angled it very very well so yes off-road in rocky conditions and things are like you'd struggle because of the weight of the bike but things like this uh, gravel paths roads grass sand snow you're fine but for the big rocky things like down here, no. And that's my honest, honest thoughts about the bike. Love the bike, absolutely brilliant. But it's not a bike for doing all this down here. So we're going to find out where this leads us to now. See if there's a drink at the end of the road. got to be. Nice little stream running down the end. Jan's just been saying where we are now, it's like little lakes and streams and rivers inside of us. Away from all the busy roads. So yeah, it's absolutely brilliant. So while we've been on this travel, we think we've spotted something. Hopefully we have anyway. So the stream at side of it.
<laughs> Guess what we found on this little bike ride? A cafe. And it's if you want to go fishing here, it's eight pound for one rod, twelve pound for two rods, or one hundred and sixty pound a year. It's absolutely brilliant. Sherwood Forest Shipper. Sherwood Forest Shipper. Sherwood Forest Fishery and Cafe. So, absolutely brilliant. So I'm just having a bit of toast and a cup of tea with jam. Let's have a look in. Right, like I said, this cafe is absolutely brilliant. So we've just come in here and we're having some, it's cheap, cheap enough. And uh, fishing as well. Match days, fishery rules, and the cafe is just here, one second. So, let's just show you. So let's show you inside there. This is the, look at that, and these these two are the cooks, and the no, old, not this one. He's not the cook. No. Oh no, pot washer. <laughs> pot washer and free help. So, how much is your breakfast here? Uh, so, standard breakfast is eight pound fifty, and that includes a drink and two slices of toast. Yeah. And an XL, which is three of everything plus black pudding and toast and drink, is a tenner. So there you go. So I'm going to put the, the link and the what's three words here as well as the postcode. So check it out, have a look, see if uh, it's something you're looking for. If you want a, a breakfast or dinner's time, um, so let's find out when it's open. What's your, what's your opening times? Seven till two. Seven till two. Seven right. days a week. Seven, day, seven days a week? Yeah, uh, seven days. And is it you all the time? Yeah, I'm the only cook. <laughs> yeah. I'm the, I'm the only cook. So, plenty of seating outside. We're in there when it's pretty cold. Have you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. The only thing you've got to watch for is these bay lifts. <laughs> We're terrible. That's what you've got to watch for these lot. <laughs> <laughs> and you've got to buy him a cup of tea when you come as well, apparently. <laughs> but yeah, it's nice, isn't it? Mm. It's amazing what you can come across when you go on this bike ride. We've enjoyed it today. Again, we've enjoyed it. And that side rush has been absolutely brilliant. And like I say, pop it, top it off, and we've got this bloody uh, cafe as well. Didn't even know it was here. So it's about getting out, giving some, itself some uh, fresh air. A little bit of exercise because I can't say it's a lot of exercises with an electric bike, it's not. We've enjoyed it though and we've still got a little bit of a ride back but the bike's uh, been absolutely brilliant. Even Jan's bike's been brilliant as well, Ketless. It's absolutely brilliant. So this is it anyway. And this is the number for it, like I say. Write that down, it's in, Ma it's in uh, Nottingham, Mansfield, Nottingham. And uh, place near Clipston, uh, King Clipston, it's not far from here. So, if you ever or you live in Mansfield, it's ideal to have a ride out to this, a drive out, plenty of car, car spaces for you to park up. Um, it's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So, that's another thing why we've been on our travels. So, now what we're going to do is we're going to crack on, get back, and uh, put the bikes away charge them up I think for tomorrow and it, I've just been told I'm just gonna tell you while I'm here now I, got, I want you to pause the video when I ask you this does anybody know what that is for 
Right, that is for putting oxygen into the water for the fish. So it runs off a generator, it starts off at nine o'clock at night and it's still running at seven o'clock in, in the morning to generate oxygen in the water. I didn't know that, but I do now. So you learn things as well while you're out, as well as having a ride. So uh, let's get going. Let's go and have a mooch around. And uh, thanks to Sherwood Boys Fishery and Cafe. Thank you. Right, so we're off again now. A little bit of a ride again. Do you know what? It's to get you out and just have that little bit of freedom without that much stress of pedalling and struggling. Stir when you need it. So yeah, a nice little find. It's like having a legalised motorbike. Jam's well in the element for that. But where does it lead you? So all you've got to do is, I'm going to leave this on and you can see where it is but follow it backwards That's if you live in uh, Nottingham or Mansfield Well that cafe's just been open for a month and it, it opens seven, seven days a week Jam Seven days a week till two o'clock Oh, it's, uh, a new place to come for us. Over here is the uh, back end of a caravan site. It was called, what was it called, Jan? I think it's Sher Sherwood somewhere, isn't Sherwood it? Sherwood something. Sherwood caravan. But this, basically, the Sherwood forest, this is what you'll come to. Now, I think it's that way. So you'll end up coming that from that way in with that postcode and you'll see this sign here, turn right and uh, to the bottom, mm -hmm. next right and you're there. But we're going to go through the woods and see where this brings us out. So let's uh, carry on. <laughs> that better? What? Cheers, Natalie. <laughs> <laughs> Try. Right, just getting used to these electric bikes has been absolutely uh, really good because we're finding little things what, if you just keep your pedal rotating, even if you're not putting any pressure on the, for the gear, you'll find that the motor still stays in. Um, and obviously, uh, Jan's just getting used to hers because hers is a little bit different than mine. But um, she's got these, like I said, for the two wheels or one wheel uh, motors. And then she's got like a little bit of a twist grip on that side. But that's only to assist her for starting off. But yeah, Jan will tell you 
What do you think? Brilliant. Really good. I'm really enjoying it. You need to laugh. <laughs> so she's enjoying it. It's it was difficult and a bit daunting for Jan. Uh, I think us fellas are different, aren't we? We'll just jump on and have a go. The only thing is, she's nicked my gloves. The ones that she's got, I think, ride or die. But there's no padding in the grips, so she's nicked mine for now. And I think she's going to order some of them because uh, in a different colour. But yeah, we've talked and talked and enjoyed it. Good ride out, good uh, bit of fun. Met a few nice people, had some great conversations with people. Met an old work pal while we were up here as well. So uh, yeah, it's been absolutely good. I did a previous video uh, a while back, I put a link to it, regarding uh, this pub over the road over there, it's called the White Gates Pub. And basically it was, uh, from, that, from this entrance here, it was a mile route for testing bikes and cars and things like that top speeds so i'll put a link at the end of this video so you can watch that regarding the white gates uh, and what it meant but basically it's part of rough motorcycles and uh, lawrence of arabia the fellow who played lawrence of arabia so i'll put a link at the end of this video so you can see that so anyway thanks for watching and i'll see you all soon bye for now back out tomorrow see you soon